Step two, closely related to that, is now you know who your audience is. Where, how do you connect to that audience? How do you create awareness with that audience? So you know who you want to connect to, but how do you connect to them? All right, so let's talk about, I don't know, let's, we want to talk about Spider-Man or, or, or Rudy or- Let's talk about Rudy. Okay, Rudy. Rudy the football film. Game. Well, well, we spoke last time about how I wanted to make a high school football movie and you would connect with the coaches. Co that's correct. That's correct. So we spoke about that already. And I said at the beginning, you know, this is what you have to do beforehand. So now you know that that audience pretty well plays football in either high school or college. And they are in leagues and they're in, you know, they're places where you can find them. They have Facebook, all the teams have Facebook pages. All of them have organizations that they're members of. There could be, you know, here in San Diego, we have the Pop Warner League, right? We know all the young football players who are going to want to watch that movie play Pop Warner football. And there's, you know, there's a whole organization for that. So just even locally, if you want to win the battle here, you go to them and you say, hey, we made this great sports football movie. We think your young athletes who are aspirational football players are going to want to watch it. Um, can you endorse it for us? Can you send the message out to the coaches, tell the coaches to tell the players? Okay. And you do that across the whole country. And that's really ground roots marketing, where you're connecting directly to people who you think are going to want to watch your movie. So that's level one. And then level two is, hey, who loves inspirational sports movies? How do we get to those people? But you don't have the money to do TV advertising or to do, you know, you can do some social media, but but what do you do on social media? Look for people who like inspirational sports movies. You can't do that. It's, it's too diluted. You can't really focus. You can try to and strategically target that, but you won't be successful. So you need those people who are the core audience who are taught to tell their friends. That's how you get to, you get a football player in high school who loves the movie and tells 10 of his friends and they watch the movie and they're, you know, no, they don't play football. They just like what he has to say and likes, you know, an, an inspirational sports movie. And, and it's good and it's got heart and they tell other people and that's how it grows. And then, you know, with social media now, you can get scientific and strategic and you can start to see who's trending and sort of build some models to try to figure out how to connect with other like-minded people. And things that you don't even think about sometimes come up. Like, and I'm going to make some crazy thing up here, okay? But it's true. Like in social media, because you have statistics and you have information and trending, you can look at stuff and, and, and maybe you figure out that um, maybe people who like to drive fast cars also like to watch inspirational sports movies. Okay. okay I just made that up, right? Mm -hmm. But you, you, there, there are trends that develop. And then all of a sudden you see, hey, everybody who bought a you know, Ford Mustang watches fast, you know, inspirational football movies. I, I, again, I'm making this up, but, the, but when you were planning your campaign, you didn't think of that. Right. Because why would you think of that? It's so remote that like, there's no connection there um, until you actually go to do it. And then, then you follow the statistics and you see, hey, there actually is a connection here. I didn't think of this before. And then you start to follow that and you build on this and build on that. And you see sort of, you know, I'm not a social media expert, but I do work with social media experts and they explain this stuff to me and, you know, it works, it's algorithms and science and, and trending, you know, and that's what advertising is. How do you connect with the people who you want to connect with? So making connections is super important because it's great to know who you want to watch the movie and who you think is going to watch it. But if, if they don't know about it, if you haven't created, so you're connecting with them to create awareness. And if they're not aware of it, then your movie could be the greatest movie of all time, but they're just not going to watch it because they, not because they don't like it, because they don't know about it. And that's what marketing is. Marketing is creating awareness with your potential audience, with your customer base. So, you know, to take it into a real estate term. So you build this fantastic new apartment building, um, but you don't advertise it and nobody knows that it's available to move into. So you have no tenants. You build the strip mall and, you know, you don't tell the surrounding neighborhood and there's no signage or anything. Yeah. No okay. They drive by it. So you get a little bit of that. You get the drive by traffic, 
but you know, it's off a remote highway somewhere and you know, you don't really get that. It's cause you got to leave the highway and nobody can kind of see it. It's down in a valley. Um, you need to advertise it. You mm-hmm. need to promote it. You need to do an opening. You need to do all the stuff that you guys do in real estate um, to create awareness so that people will know to come to it and that know it's there. Um, basic, but you know, that basic stuff is the core of business. It is. That's what how you make money in business. You yeah. I mean, you could have the best product, but if no one knows about it, no one's going to be buying. That's it. correct. And I think I said last time about you know a restaurant. You, you you're the best chef in the world. You have the best food, but you nobody knows that that's the case. So it's not like they're not coming because you don't have good food. It's comes they're not coming because they don't know you you exist. Hmm. So you have to tell them. You have to, and that it's very very important to figure out where they exist to tell them, and then to cut through the clutter to be able to get a message to them. So everybody says, oh, I'll use social media. That'll be the way I talk. And you know, that'll be the way I communicate. And I say, social media is good, but, but it's, it's so diluted and it's so busy in the social media market. You can't, it's hard to get people's attention. You kind of have to do better than that. Social media is one way to do it, but you do, you have to be a little bit more direct. So like, you know, in the Rudy thing, like go to the coaches, um, in my case, go to the gymnastics coaches, you know, in Marvel's case, go to the comic book readers, um, go to the comic book stores, you know, start where you know you're going to find your people and they're going to respond. Mm. So be very strategic that way. And what we call grassroots, like don't be afraid to actually go back and do it old fashioned. Social media is great, but it's not everything. It's just, it's one component of a really good marketing campaign. And, you know, the big studios still do a lot of television advertising. Um, they feel it works and it probably does work because they wouldn't do it if it didn't work. So, and it's expensive, but um, if you're doing it properly and strategically, then hopefully you're getting your money's worth out of it. But so creating awareness with an audience is super important because you're basically saying to them, hey, core audience who I think would be interested in my film, Please be advised that I made this film. It's really cool. You're going to love it. And then that leads to number three. So number two is figure out how to connect to that audience and and create awareness that they know about your film, which leads to number three. 